little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The end of the holiday. It is the last morning of Peppa's holiday in Italy. I'm just going for one last walk. What? <laughs> Going for one last swim, Mr Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes, I miss my friends and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <coughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Peppa has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed. <laughs> ah. Hello, officer. Whatever I was doing... I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie, but she's flying home now. Flying high. In the sky, flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? <laughs> um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh, that's my postcard. Hello. Oh. It's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mummy Pig's book. 
Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Pepper. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, <coughs> when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty ninety ten million hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> Duh, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Pepper. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book, so we must listen politely even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh! <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three. Oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four seven six eight five it's nine? It's George's Happy Mrs Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh, well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Flying Vet. Peppa has brought Goldie the fish to the vets for a checkup. You've got a healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Hello. 
Hello, Dr. Hamster. This is Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant and his family are out for a walk in the mountains. We found a sick lizard. It's a gecko. Edmund knows all about lizards. He is a clever clogs. I'll be straight there. Ooh, can we come too? Of course. Let's go. Are we going in an ambulance? No, the mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh. Airplane! No! George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! Up, up and away! I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Stand aside. Vet coming through. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. Uh, Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Wow! Hello, <laughs> Pepper, George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner the better. There's an island. There we go. Better Polly. Ah, uh, better Polly. Hooray! Polly is not a sick parrot anymore. Oh, another emergency. Hello. Hello. Daddy Pig here. Daddy Pig is in his office. There are some ducklings stuck on our roof. I'll be right there. Thank goodness you're here. Stand aside. Dr Hamster here. Mrs Duck laid her eggs on our roof. And now the ducklings have hatched. Who can make a quacking noise? Me! I'm very good at quacking. Pepper, start quacking and the ducklings will follow you. Quack, quack, quack. <coughs> quack, quack, quack. <coughs> Lead them to the duck pond, please, Pepper. OK. I'm Mummy Duck. Quack, quack. The ducklings are back with their mummy and daddy. All because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is it another emergency? Yes, it's Mr Hamster. I'm late for my tea. Bye. Bye-bye, Dr Hamster. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. It's all in a day's work for the flying vet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mirrors. Mummy Pig is fixing a big mirror onto the bathroom wall. Lovely. <laughs> George thinks there is another little piggy in the bathroom. It's a mirror, George. Mirrors are shiny. That's why you can see yourself. <laughs> George, what are you doing? George is looking at himself in the big shiny mirror. 
It is very shiny. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's find some more shiny things. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> we're looking for shiny things to see ourselves in. Have a look in a spoon. Ooh. Pepper and George can see their faces in the shiny spoons. <laughs> Our faces look funny. Now, turn the spoon around. I'm upside down. And turn it round again. Now I'm the right way up. How does that work, Daddy? It's simple, Pepper. Concave surfaces reflect light waves inversely to their origin. And Is it magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Susie. Look at that. <laughs> it's a spoon. It's a shiny spoon. Look, I can make you go upside down. <laughs> Ooh, how does that work? It's magic. My daddy says so. Ah, let's find some more magic shiny things in the garden. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. Ooh, it's shiny enough to see our faces. I can see the sky. There's a cloud. <laughs> Here are Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Did you drop something in that puddle? No, we're looking at the sky. But the sky is in the sky. Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa, now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble! How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy, where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Oh, the mirror's amazing, Daddy Pig. Wow. I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror, but there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly, Daddy. It's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh. I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bing the zoo. Bing. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. 
You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig, Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day. Mr. and Mrs. Kangaroo have come to visit. Hello. Good day, Mr. Pig. We met at the airport. Remember? Um. It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <coughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <laughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. 
No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow! Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Squeak! Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. Kylie <laughs> Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Mmm, yummy! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Mm. Everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> My little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Pedro is late. Peppa's playgroup are going on a trip to the museum. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is not here. I bet he's still in his pyjamas. Pedro is asleep in his little bed. Pedro likes sleeping. Pedro! Wake up! You'll be late for the school trip! <sighs> OK, Mummy. Come on, Pedro. We don't want to miss the bus. <sighs> the bus is still waiting for Pedro Pony. We can't wait any longer. The museum will be closed. OK, let's go. <laughs> There's no one here. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro. We've missed the bus. Oh. Come on. Let's catch them up. <laughs> Pedro is always late. Look. There's a car chasing us. Oh. 
Hello, Mrs Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here! Sorry, Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. What will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Next stop, the museum. Um, where is Pedro? <laughs> Petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the king and queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs, all very nice. Ah, amazing. Space, rockets and all that. Wow. And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh. Thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro. A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Er, uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bingly, bong, bing, boo! All together now! Bong, bing, Nobody has noticed Madame bong, Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Bing, bong, bingly, bong, bing, boo! Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dots. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. And you're late. You slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Outback. Pepper has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, Mr Pig, what a surprise. You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. The crocodile. <laughs> We're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow, you have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> I love the Outback. Um, what 
is the outback. We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. But the outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <coughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! <coughs> Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. Oh dear, the ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Pepper. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Pepper. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Captain Daddy Dog. Pepper and her friends are playing at Danny Dog's house. I'm a sea captain, sailing across the sea. We are jolly pirates. Shiver me timbers. Aha! <laughs> it's the post. It is Mr Zebra, the postman. Hello, Mummy Dog. I've got a postcard for you. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Who is the postcard from, Mummy? It's from Captain Dog. Daddy! He's finished his sailing trip around the world and he's coming home. Ooh! How exciting! I wonder when he'll be back. Ahoy there, Mr Zebra. Ruff. Hello, Captain Dog. Hello! Daddy! Danny! Daddy! Danny! Captain Dog is home from the sea. My Captain Dog! Mummy Dog, my sweetheart! How long are you home for, Daddy? Forever. I've decided my travelling days are over. I've been around the world and made me fortune. Ooh! And lost it again. Oh! And made it again! Hooray! Ah, I love to travel. But there's something I really miss when I'm away. What, Daddy? My darlings, of course! <laughs> <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. So I'm hanging up my captain's hat for good. 
Let me tell you all about my travels. I've been away for a year and a day, sailing around the world. All the way around? Yes. What did you do at the bottom? Did you fall off? No. I held on tightly. Wow! What an adventure! It was. And I've brought back presents for all of you. Ooh! Presents! Here is a drum for Danny from a far away jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. <laughs> it is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Daddy. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that, didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. Aha! That's an exact copy of my boat. You could help me sail it. That sounds like fun. Pepper and her friends are at the duck pond. Ahoy there, shipmates. Room for another boat on the briny waters? Yes. Excellent. Danny, our boat needs a captain. It can't sail itself. Daddy, will you be my boat's captain? I'd be delighted, Danny, if you'll be my first mate. Yes, please. Launch the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Wind is southwesterly. The waters are calm. My last adventure was sailing a boat around the world. My next adventure is sailing a boat across a duck pond. <laughs> Captain Dog likes sailing across duck ponds. Everyone likes sailing across duck ponds. <laughs> George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Garden Games. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George are in the garden. Daddy, we're a bit bored. But there's lots to do in the garden. Like what? Uh, sit in a garden chair. Read the paper and watch the grass grow. But those are things for a daddy to do. Hello. Hello, Susie. What are you doing? Nothing. We're bored. Me too. That's why I came to your house. <sighs> <sighs> I've got an idea. We've an old box of garden games somewhere. What are garden games? I don't know. Here we are. <laughs> Juggling sticks. Watch me juggle. Oh. Oh, oh. They're not for juggling, Susie. They're skittles. We set the skittles up here. Then we have to stand over here and try and knock the skittles over by rolling this heavy ball. Me first. <laughs> Hooray! Pepper has knocked over two skittles. My turn. It's very hard, Susie. You probably won't be able to do it. Susie has knocked over all the skittles. Hooray! Oh, well done. Now it's George's turn. Because George is little, he can stand a bit closer. Oh. George is too little to play Skittles. George doesn't like being the littlest one. <laughs> hmm, let's play bat and ball. 
Peppa can throw the ball and George has to bat it. <laughs> but if anyone catches the ball, George is out. OK. Caught it! <laughs> George is out. <laughs> George is a bit too little even for bat and ball. You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! Ah! Oops. I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, oh, oh. ho! We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn! And me! And me! <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh! Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing. George likes playing garden games. Everyone likes playing garden games. 